some dude named Carl supposed to be up next? There, is there a Carl? There he is. Carl's going to do three minutes. Here he does. You guys, he doesn't have a last name. He's just like Cher or whatever else has one. Madonna. Sting Bono. Sting Bono. Bring it up for Carl. I don't know. Is this on? I don't hear it. Do you know the way to San Jose? You know, Burt Bacharach couldn't have written that today, right? In our age of GPSs. I mean, 880 South, right? What's the big deal? And you're not going to find any hippie chicks there. Those days is long over. Is this on? You hear me? Well, my bladder is my friend. I could be on like hour 45 minute car ride. He's not like, hey dude, won't you pull over to the side of the road a second? No man, he's cool man, he's my friend. But for how long, right? Until when? Till I get to the front door of my house and then what? I have to go urgently. It's like he knows we're home. It's like somehow the brain is like connected to the bladder. I don't understand the science, but he knows we're home. And it's, and it's just like when I get home and I'm going to chill out and relax, my bladder is like, I am home. I am going to relax. That's why I have a urinal in the foyer. I beat the system. My friend Mike is here tonight. He is from here, San Francisco. He has got a prison, or he's got a fr uh, friend in Folsom Prison. And his friend calls him up from prison, and he tells him that he thinks he's, he found Jesus in prison. But, uh, but it was Jesus. And, uh, and how do they get that? Like, Jesus is Jesus, and Jaime is Jamie, and, and George, George is Jorge, right? Now, one time, I was on 42nd Street. I was pretty horny. There was a prostitute down the road, and I was like, whore, hat. Three Spanish guys turn around. Serious. Now, here we are in the gay area, and who is the most famous Latino from San Francisco? No, I mean, I think it's Jerry Garcia. Gotta be, hands down because he's not really a Latino. Ha, ha. You know, Jerry Garcia is dead, but is he grateful? I mean, that's a hard sell, right? All right, so we're on the radio, so I want to communicate with you as an audience. Well, I mean, I just want to see who can understand me, okay? There we go. Stop. Stop. Yield. No trucks over two tons. I'm speaking in sign language. No parking! Low clearance. <sighs> what, what was my... I was speaking in sign language, wasn't I? My deaf girlfriend, she uh, taught me sign language. She knows how to read lips, too. And that's why I love to watch professional football with her. All the mouthing profanities. She thinks that shit's top volume. And she's always shocked on national television. Sometimes she thinks I'm whispering sweet nothings in her ear, but I'm like, right? It's like in Braille. It's like Braille. Nobody's, everybody's. Isn't it quiet time now, right? The sign says that there's a quiet time. Uh, okay, so, um, where did she go? Because I'm, like, almost done. Um, I really thought you were fucking funny, dude. Yes, you. No, New York. New York. All right. <laughs> Mike, wake up, Mike. Mike, where's the thing? You're supposed to be recording me. That's not happening. <laughs> All right, well, I'm just going to cut it short there. Thank you very much. You've been a good... Keep going. You have, like, so much more time. I do? I'm just pulling back the curtain because I want to watch you as I smoke. Okay, I understand. So like, five minutes, dude. Okay, 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 okay. That's fucking pressure. Okay. This one time, it's the morning. Uh, I'm in the bathroom. The four-year-old is there, and I lit out a little F-A-R-T. 
And now the kid's looking at me all suspicious, wondering, did Daddy do it? And so, like, I thought I would have some fun with it. And I was like, did you hear that quack? I think there's a duck in the house. And these kids looking up at me like, is the duck in your butt? Daddy? All right, I'll tell you what. Here we go. It's cheating, but if I really do have five minutes... Just if you please stand by. <laughs> Got no jokes in the goddamn buckets. All right, well, I'll just tell a cheap one then while I'm looking. Uh, oh, here it is, motherfucker, man. Goddamn. Uh, I was having sex with this prostitute. And right in the middle of fucking, she tells me to later go get checked for syphilis and don't forget. I knew right then and there I was in a whole lot of trouble. Right? You get that? Because I was in... All right, yes, yes, I sleep with prostitutes, yes, okay. But it's only when my wife has her period, guys. I'm not an asshole. Right. Or maybe I need to reevaluate my life now, I think. Uh, this woman at my work, it was so annoying. She, like, comes into the office and she's, like, raising money for AIDS. And I was so offended. I mean, AIDS is going to spread itself. It don't need our help. Get the fuck out my office. Women have a period problem. Am I right, guys? Women have a period problem, but boys have a problem, period. Am I right, ladies? Go on with your bad self, girl. Why are black people so tall? Because they're Negroes? No, it has more mojo than your average honky patella. Um, we're at the Chinese food restaurant and the fortune cookies and the orange wedges come. And just as a joke, I put an orange wedge in my mouth and I smiled at my nine-year-old. And he's like, oh, orange teeth, daddy. So then I took the peel out and he's like, oh, back to yellow. That's a true story. Um, I don't like this rapid transit system. You guys got Bart. Bart sounds like a dude, right? Just Bart. I mean, Bay Area Rapid Transit. There's no marketing in that name. You guys should call it Frisco Area Rapid Transit. Now, that's a name that pops. It doesn't, right? It's a name that stinks. Did you get that? See, she said nobody calls it Frisco. My friend Mike said, don't call it Frisco. Everyone will know you ain't from Frisco. Hey, man, I know Frisco. Mike's doing well. He's got his own trolley. Wakes up every morning with a rice a hangover. Seriously, in the morning, he's like, amphetamines. Amphetamines. Every night, he's like, barbiturates. Barbiturates. I'm not moving here, Mike. I'm visiting. Who are the best Mexicans? Now, I do stand up in New York, so I always hear Puerto Ricans. It's like if you're a Mexican from New York, you're either Dominican or you're Puerto Rican. But for my money, the Mexicans who live in Colombia are the best Mexicans. They have a work ethic. You know what's funny? The Mexicans who live in Argentina, they're like almost European from the way they act. They're all like almost Spaniards, but... but they're, they're not. They're not. They're, they're Mexicans. Well, I mean, they live in the Mexican hemisphere, which makes them Mexicano. Is that the Latin? Mexicano. All right, listen, I got to get off now, okay? Uh, the day is winding down. I'm in bed with my wife, and of course I suggest, you know, why don't we stimulate a little action here, baby? And she's like, no, nah, I don't want to. I'm going to the gynecologist tomorrow, and I kind of just want to keep fresh. Fucking grumble. I turn to her a second later. Well, are you going to the dentist? You make that appointment yet? My name is Carl. You've been a good audience. And as the Italians say, au revoir. Carl, by one name, Carl. Keep it going for Carl. Yeah.